Greetings and welcome to Energize You TV, Season 5, Episode 29. So excited that you're here and you want to be energized. Do you? Would you like to have more energy and abundance? And then that happiness? Well, then you've come to the right place today because we have secrets to igniting abundance in humanity. And what we do every week is we take out of the Ignite book, raise your energy in 30 seconds or less naturally so you shine with more energy, joy, and abundance. So get your copy today and come with us every week as we go to every to a different chapter to talk about that energy. And that's why you're here because you're like, ooh, you're leaning in, aren't you? Because it's making sense to you, like, what is happening? But you know, we have a special guest that that I picked just for you today. And, you know, she's not only an expert soul storyteller, she's also a dear friend and colleague, best-selling author also. Her name is Mary Kippel. And you know what? She is also deeply passionate about helping you discover your abundance and your energy. She has some valuable golden nuggets, and I like to say, write her downers. So get that pencil out. Go on and get that, that water because I'm a water pusher. And take a deep breath because you know why? As you listen to her and listen to me today and the, all the difference, you're going to help and you're going to feel that healing. And you're going to have that increased happiness and that love and abundance. And you're going to thrive in your life personally and professionally. And I know you're going to be you're going to love this one. Did you know that studies have shown and proven that meditation increases your brain function and enhances spiritual inner peace and purpose and purpose and your emotional well-being? So that's why for over 25 years I've been teaching meditation. And I know that you getting into alignment with your energy, your vibrational field sounds good to you because I want you to stay tuned to the end, to the end of the last 10 minutes, or I'm going to help you with a with a activation, calibration, visualization, meditation. So you don't want to miss out on that because it'll help you all week. Because you know what? I help people that feel stuck find spiritual answers. So go ahead and be kind and, and go ahead and share this with your family, your friends. You know your sister really wants to get energized and to understand more about energy. These are writer downers, so make sure you have your pen. And you know what? Let's just dive right in because understanding about energy is important and it's the biggest buzz going on right now, isn't it? And your thoughts and your emotions are forms of energy. And everything that we perceive in the universe is interconnected. Now, Einstein said, and I quote, energy never dissolves. It merely changes forms. So changing the form. Have you ever went into a room with a bunch of people and your stomach just dropped? That's energy. Or you said, hey, Mary, how you feeling today? And she's like, oh, I'm good. And you're like, no, you're not. That's feeling energy. And understanding that and being able, oh, being able to teach it, to help people to experience as a Reiki master and spiritual counselor, it's been a joy for so long to help them to not only to manage and balance their energy, but to really connect to their energy and understand the experience of it. And that's even with this chart, because the thing is, is when we are down here in shame, blame, guilt, fear, trying too hard to could have, should have, what is our energy level is down. Now we can be like energetic, but we're not feeling it internally. And as we move up the chart and we get into that willingness, that acceptance of life, the reason, the love, the joy, the, the gratitude, we start to raise, we start to feel better. And that's what I help people because they are here maybe in that grief. And what I do is I help them to connect to their vibrational field. Then that's so great. Now these these numbers are relative, but they really help to understand that we're just energy, and the experience your energy is such powerful. And you know what? Here you have an aura around you. Have you ever had an aura photo? There you go. There's your aura photo. So you really do have vibrational fields around you, and you are just energy. 
And then that cool, I, I hear you. But you know what? I like this quote and it comes out of the Art of Connection, which is the fourth on a series of an international bestseller that I'm in all four of these. And this Crystal D. Turner Moffat, she wrote a quote in this and her quote was, when you live it, you give it. This mantra enables access to an abundant life. A life that sings ultimately allows you to make a positive impact in humanity. That's you. That's in all of humanity. And we're going to just take a moment and pause for a second and take a deep breath. Because just doing that diaphragmic breath helps the planet to raise the vibrational feel. And that's quantum physics. That's science. That is cannot be denied or argued. That is real. So let's take another deep breath in through your nose, out through your slit mouth, and hold on to that for one second. Very nice, beautiful. Now, I love tools. As you're breathing, I love tools, and I use the shining wheel. Many of my students say that that is a medicine wheel. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona here. I do a lot of different things with this shining wheel to help people with all the different positions, with Mother Earth, Father Sun, Grandma Moon, the water, the wind, the fire the male and the female, and the mother, father, God, and all that there is your source of energy, your, your connection. So today, because I always like to teach, is today we're going to work with the moon energy. And this is a tool. It's a beautiful way to work. And, and the feminine energy emotions we feel, we think of, is the moon. Because I feel it's grandma moon. It's the emotions. And the medicine, the symbols. The sim what it symbolizes is the magic of our dreams and setting new ideas into motion, also emotional balance. Studies have proven that the moon's frequency has the ability to bring subconscious thoughts into conscious thoughts. Whoa. Wow. So let's just take another minute and bring in the vibrational field of Grandma Moon to clear your space. Take a big deep breath so that you feel wherever you're at, or you're not driving, that you will take this vibration in. And it will clear out any and all energies that do not and do not serve you because we don't want those around you. We want to feel this vibration. So let's just take a few deep breaths here. Really hone in and then imagine it's clearing out all of the negative forces around you. And you're feeling this and it's dissolving any of these patterns or anger, anything in there. Breathe as you're hearing my voice. Breathe as you're hearing my voice. And let's take one more and really bring in the moon and how it nurtures and heals with love and light. Take some more deep breaths. And as you take these deep breaths, in the new moon, I do every every month, and it is a virtual. So anyone around the world, you can come to that and be one with us. And then also, I do a sundial. Our, the world's largest sundial is in Carefree, Arizona. And I do an in-person here in Phoenix, Arizona. I actually had some people fly in from California, which is really cool because they wanted to come and be in that energy. So beautiful, beautiful. And as we move over, now let's talk about the sacred animal. And every time we go into the full moon the online or the new moon and the sundial, and do the meditation, we always bring in an animal because see, the power animals are not like your guides. They're not like a guide or the, your angels. It's different. They're an ally to go deeper into your meditation. This is a true statement. So today we brought in the dog. So if the dog shows up for you, you're facing some difficulties and challenges and feel like giving up. So if that's kind of you, call the dog's energy, the medicine of the dog bring that essence now you want to call upon the dog if you're facing some difficulties and challenges and you want them to come to you so that's powerful so whenever you think of something i want to give up i don't want to do it, call upon the dog now if it's your power animal you do your best when you do work where you can serve humanity in some way 
That's your power animal. And if you're thinking, Angel, I don't know my power animal. I wonder what they are. Well, then get with me because that actually in my my cookbook, I have a spiritual cookbook. It's right there. And I have 18 different sessions for over these 30 years I've been doing this. So you go ahead and check out the cookbook and you'll know that it's session number 15. And we'll find out and go into a meditation and help you with your power animal. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. So you know what? As we're moving on, I feel like this is a divine moment. And in this divine moment, what we're going to do is we're going to take a chapter. We're going to take one of the focus words out of the Shine On book. It's 52 Secrets, Greater Self-Esteem, and Higher Success. So let's just pick one right now. Ooh, there we go. Balance. It's only two pages. It takes a minute. You want to pick one every day. So secret number five, balance. And I quote myself, and that is my dog. Yes, her name is Shine. <laughs> so I quote myself here. The secret to balance is inner peace expressed through joyful movement. Isn't that beautiful? Because we know that movement is lubricant. And as we move, we also balance the nervous system. We balance that, that quantum field. The circuits are very powerful when we do this. Balance is so important. So remember that throughout the week. And the action step today is breathe. I always start out action step, breathe, because I want you to hone in on that vibrational field in balance. So take a breath. And remember, diaphragmic. Diaphragm comes out and then beautiful, beautiful. Pick one project today. Before starting, create an organized and clean workspace. Isn't that important? When the task is complete, put everything away and breathe. Balance. Because a lots of stuff can help you be off balance energetically. So balancing that energy. Powerful. So woo-woo. Awesome, awesome. And you know what? If you love crystals as much as I love crystals, then you're going to love this one. Because we're going to talk about a crystal and coming right up. But you know what? We're going to go to a commercial before we do that. So we'll be right back. And then we're going to pick that crystal. Traditional business cards are often lost or forgotten. This can lead to missed opportunities and wasted time and money. Java Logix offers a unique solution. Eco-friendly paperless business cards that are easy to update and share. With our QR code, you can share your card with anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's the easiest way to share your details. Interested in getting one? Click on Get Offer and get your own digital business card today. Beautiful, beautiful. Get with Preston because that digital, I get comments all the time on my digital print. It's like amazing, totally amazing. So what we're going to do is we're talking about crystal. So it's the amethyst today. So here's a big amethyst. I've had this one for years. One of my Reiki students actually gave this to me. And then here is one that's kind of polished. Now, some of them, if you put them in the sun, they'll they'll dye it. So I, when people say, hey, Angel, how do you clear a crystal? Sometimes you're not, or you don't want to put it in the sun because this will become clear and you'll be like, well, it's an amethyst, but it looks like a clear quartz because there's nothing left to it. So make sure that you know the crystal if you want to put it in the sun or not put it in the sun and what happens with that. So that's a, an important part right there. Awesome. Okay. And the other thing about amethyst in the benefits um for humanity, it's calming. And the properties alleviate stress and anxiety, it promotes mental well being. The big one is it's in that emotional balance. And then we picked balance. I mean, wow. Because, I mean, it's really powerful. And it also relation, it helps in your relationships and it improves your communication. And, you know, the biggest thing, too, that I teach from all these years of teaching crystals is an amethyst is helpful for your dreams to not only remember your dreams, but if you're having some nightmares, then you want to put a crystal next to your bedtime or even underneath your pillow. Now, 
Of course, it would be a smaller one than this, but go ahead and put that underneath and it will help you to remember your dreams. And that is another session in the cookbook. And that one is session number five in the cookbook. And if you want me to send you all of those, just get with me because it's really powerful. And you know what else is this reminds me of a story and you know about humanity and going back to humanity and thanking the crystal and thanking the shining wheel, the animal, you know, when I think about humanity, I think about how we have much fear right now. And the fear that we have out there is from the news, from politics, even from some religion, some, and that's a bold statement for me to make. Yet I see so much of this fear. So I'm going to ask you to remind yourself that for you to stay in line with your values, what you believe, humanity and what is happening, you can be in a lot of fear. I always tell people that right now is a wonderful time to be alive in humanity because there's so many twists and turns and the emotions are so high. But we're breaking free. And that's what it, 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 we really are breaking free from all of these chains that we've been in. And in some places, it's not. I have a friend right now that's in from South Africa. And she's and we went for a walk this morning at 530 in the morning. And she goes, you're not scared to be out? And I said, no, no. And, and I said, can't you go out your door with your husband and go for a walk? And she said, no. That she went out and she was with her husband and someone came over and took her necklace from behind and ripped it. And he was right there. And, you know, here in America, I don't know if we always think about that, but not be able to walk out your door and take a walk. Wow. That's, that's tragic, but it is real. So as we move into the positivity of humanity and how really the collective is coming together with so much more kindness I see. They want to understand Reiki now and energy healing. They want to understand how to step into their emotions and who they are. Just this morning I had quite a few phone calls all the time about, hey, I want to learn Reiki or I want to understand more about energy and I heard you're the expert. And it's in this in this place that we've been We've been in an energy that we don't understand. And now science is saying, hey, it is a real thing. So humanity, energy is what you show up and how you show up in the collective. At the beginning, I asked you to take a deep diaphragmic breath because that diaphragmic breath, that vibrational energy that you create with just that breath, that helps to calm goes out to the collective because that's energy and that's quantum physics it's proven so remind yourself and remember to take those deep breaths today and help all of humanity and as you smile at people they might not smile back as you wave at them like i do it every morning some of them wave back most of them do because i've been walking for all so many years and now they actually even beep at me and wave like hey pay attention and Sinead saw that this morning, my South African friend. And remember to do and to be kind. And know when you don't feel comfortable, that's energy. And know when to walk away, but know when to say, hey, I'm here and I'm being kind to all humanity. And I always send out energy of positivity to all humanity. And you know what? As we do this, you know, we also want to step in to our energy and stepping into our energy is do this with me. When I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. One more time. As I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. And I can see my guests. Mary's doing that down there. She's like, yeah, I got you. And, you know, I want to say that to everyone, too, is thank you, viewers, for being on the line today. Thank you to all my guests all over the world that come on and they help to share this and comment and really bring people in because it's down to my 
absolute, that my sole commitment to the world is that every single one of you discover that you can change your energy. You can show up however you would like, and you can ignite that vibration and find without anyone around. But you know what? Let's move on because I want to bring on Mary right now because she is amazing. And let me do a couple of things why I'm bringing her on. And here we go. Let's bring her on right now as we move. There we go. Hi, Mary. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, Angel. And I can't wait to, you know, talk about the energy as a soul story mentor. The words have energy. They really do, don't they? And that's what the whole thing's about. And, you know, I know how much I love you because I can't even tell you how long we've known each other. Like, whoosh. So, and she's out of California, but go ahead and tell us about you. So I, it's interesting that I love the synchronicity that you were talking about moon. I live in Half Moon Bay. And <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah. And um, I, I have been a journalist for over 40 years. I love being able to draw the stories out to help people find the soul story that is theirs to share. That's beautiful. And you do that so well. I, I just love that. So, and again, um, having you here today, I, I writer downers, guys, I already told you these are going to be writer downers, awesome golden nuggets. So let's get ready. And I want to say hello to Israel, Linda, and there's so many, all of you that are on the line. Thank you so much for being here. And they've all been on the show before, so thank you. There's so much support. You know, we, we really are in humanity working more together. Don't you feel like that? Absolutely. That we want to, like, reach out and work together. So my first question for you, can you discuss how negativity and positive, positive energy from others can impact our own sense of well-being and inner peace? Absolutely. We all have dreams, and when we... We voice our dreams. They're oftentimes with met, met with challenges because people are looking at us like, that's not who I expect you to be. That's not who I have my vision for you. You're going in a different direction. And it's like, but we can't live anybody else's life and be in joy and fulfillment. That, that, that's that's uh, not hope for ourselves and for those who need us. So true, so true. So I would love for you to add to this and what your take on this is, is cultivating a deeper awareness of your own energy and the energy of those around us leads to greater spiritual growth and abundance. Absolutely, I've kept a journal since I was 11 years old. I know the power of the word and how having a conversation with yourself on paper makes such a difference in your connection to yourself and the world in general and your spirit and being able to articulate that to those who you encounter. And that's, that's just the way that we bring ourselves up and those who we are meant to have an impact on yes yes and in your in your your soul your soul stories because that's what you do you you that soul story um and and in that how does it help humanity when we we all have significant life experiences that have changed the trajectory of our life and that is what i consider a soul story that there's something that we learned from that experience that brought us wisdom and gives us the tools that we have and brought us to be who the people we are and that's that's how we offer hope to somebody else who is in the situation that we have experienced and so showing up to be who we are meant to be and isn't that so true? The showing up, you know, and giving voice to that story that we are meant to share. Yeah. Hmm. And in, in, in day to day, do you have a practice that you can share with the viewers that help you to be in that place? 
Absolutely. I mentioned that I started writing in a journal when I was 11. So that's when I was 11. What, what does an 11 year old have to put in a journal? You know, who was cute on TV last night? But it, it was me being me. And so as I have matured and evolved, the things that I write about in my journal have changed. But having a conversation with myself on the page every day for at least five minutes, that's something that everybody can do. You don't have to have you know, specific training. You don't have to study with a guru and you don't have to have all oh, this wonderful equipment, paper and pen. And I've stressed that paper and pen to have your hand moving across the page. That's your connection with your soul and your heart. It is so true. Thank you for that. Because um, I, I teach that is to get the pencil. I like a pencil because it's the wood. So I tell them, get the pencil, put it on paper. And I had this lady, one of my clients, and she, she typed it. And she kept typing it. And I said, I want you to try it one time, just pencil, not a pen, pencil, and paper, and I want you to write just for five minutes. Mm -hmm. The whole she was like, "Oh my gosh, it's completely different," and it's scientifically proven that when you write, the super and the subconscious actually gets the message on a different mm -hmm. vibrational field. When I wrote that, because I've been teaching it for over twenty, but I didn't, I didn't know it was a real thing. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. It's a it's a real thing. It's absolutely true. And your head, your mind goes into a different place when you have your hands on the keyboard. You're already yes. editing. That inner critic has taken over. Good one. Good. One. And you know what we found too, and this helps all of humanity, is we found too is the reticular brain system that function that puts you on a loop that keeps you in that loop of I'm not good enough or I'm this or that. And it is a negative loop and it's proven that reticular. Look it up if you want. And what the writing does, it helps to connect. Helps and connect and, and rewrite the story. Gives you an option and opening. Rewrite the story. And that's the big one is rewriting the story. So tell me one of your... Um, working with somebody that's trying to get their story and then getting tell me a, a tell me something about that how did that work well it's a, i love the synchronicity that we're talking about humanity today that's one of the things that i i'm different in that as a journalist you know there's this who what one where where why and and how and i heart i invent I invite people to think about their heart and how they connect with humanity. So giving them an, uh, an opportunity to talk about something that they don't think is related because it's so ordinary. Everybody does that. I mean, why would anybody want to hear about that story? And one of my clients, we were working on her website and talking about her bio. And I asked her to tell me about her first job. And she she's very well respected in her industry and so she wanted to talk to me about the awards that she has won it's like okay that that can go in your bio however i'm asking about the first time somebody paid you and she said well i babysat doesn't everybody well no not everybody babysits and well tell me about the job i babysat a newborn for my next door neighbor and how old were you i was 10. i know what 10 year olds are like I'm a mom. I've been a, I've been a ten year old, and I said, okay, more details here. And she said, well, this my neighbor saw me with my handicapped brother. She knew I could handle it. Oh. And I said, those are details that people want to lean into, so that they get to know more about you. And we were at another networking event where she was on a panel and invited, they were all invited to tell us something about you that we don't know. And I said, here's a golden opportunity for you. You know, they, I'm sure I'm the only one in the room that knows about this, knows this babysitting story. She goes, we're all professionals here and I'm not going to do that. And, and I said, okay, it's, it's up to you, which it's, you're missing an opportunity. And she used it. And afterwards she came up to me and she said, I can't tell you how many people that I haven't really talked to came up because I was more approachable. There was something that we had in common. 
And they already knew that I was an executive in the sales industry, but there they saw me as somebody relatable. And that's how you dig into the soul story that is yours alone, that makes you unique and helps people get to know, like, and trust you. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And I was talking to my friend from South Africa this morning and she saw how I get up and I'm in a lot of pain when I get up mm. and I never show that. And we were on the walk and, you know, and then I'm feeling good because I'm doing the walk and I whew, got out there and I asked her, I said, do you, do you think I should tell people about that? She said, yeah, Angel, you really should. And I'm like, you know, it's so to me, it's negative. But so, it's your journey and it's what you do with that information, that, that wisdom that you downloaded and how you moved through it, the choice that you made to change. Yeah. Hmm. You're offering yeah. hope to somebody else. Yeah. And you, you probably get so much beauty from what you do because the person doesn't, we all, don't you agree? We all don't think our stories are really, they don't mean. Absolutely. Absolutely. That uh, who doesn't babysit? It's so ordinary. But, but when you talk about what you did with that ordinary thing, that makes it extraordinary because it's your story. We all have unique stories because they're our own. And nobody else knows our story from the inside except us. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to step out. Okay. I, viewers, I'm going to step out and kind of tell a little bit more about what's going on, but you know, I want to jump back because in this humanity and raising the collective energy in humanity, can you, can you give us some, some kind of, um, I don't like tips exactly. So like a system or a method. So how, how did those acts of kindness, compassion, gratitude, and how they contribute? I would say that when, when we are more confident in who we are made uniquely by spirit, universe, you know, whatever we want to call a, something greater, because we're, we're all connected. There, there's a way, there's a thread that makes all of us part of the universal story and being being aware of that helps us be more, more conscious and more willing to go out of our way to, to say hello to somebody, to smile at someone in the grocery store line, to let somebody in when we're trying to merge. Know that those little things add up to be big things. And we're all role models. We're being... <laughs> We're worried about being judged. We're always being judged and watched. I have a five-year-old granddaughter. I know that, that she doesn't miss a trick. And my husband will say, did, did you just hear her say that? <laughs> because she repeated exactly what you had told her three days ago. And I know, I know. So it's it's when what we're aware of and what we're not aware of. But that we stay in alignment of this is who we were made to be yeah. and this is the story that we're bringing to the world to offer hope and it does help in your abundance and your happiness when we step into that kindness step into that energy and know that we're bigger i mean because if we really look at it mary right we are this little tiny speck in this huge world you know world on this planet that's flying through the I But yeah, anyway, so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited because you have a free gift for us. Yes. So would you like to tell what that free gift is now? Yes. Yeah, so I'm talking about encouraging you to, to write and, and that you have something, a soul story that's yours alone. And well, and so many times people say, I never know where to start and I never know what to say. So here's for a month. You can show up for five minutes. You will get something in your email that's, that's a writing prompt. And 
you start with those words and see where you go. And um, you might not resonate with that prompt. And so my invitation would be take the different view, take the, another perspective, just start writing, set the timer for five minutes and start writing and see where you go. You'd be amazed at what can come up in five minutes. So this could also, if I'm correct, tell me if I'm not, this could also help. And if you wanted to do a Facebook post or you wanted to. Absolutely. Just- absolutely. Everything I've done personally and professionally started in my journal. So this is a way for you to start connecting with what it is that that your people need, that who needs you would, would be able to connect with you and lean in and say, she gets me. He understands, he knows where I've been, and he knows what I'm going through. And because I encourage you to be using, to be writing, so many people have said, but my handwriting is so lousy, I, I want to type this. And it's like, I promise you that if it's important, you will get that message again. You will find those words. And the next time you were writing, it you'll be refining, you will get a deeper understanding of what those words meant beautiful beautiful it's it what you're doing for humanity wow because you're also helping people to leave a legacy absolutely absolutely because your story matters no one can tell your story from your perspective and in you telling you getting in touch and owning that story that and sharing it gives other people hope that they see it's possible for them that you're laying down an opportunity for someone to pick up the mantle and say i can do this too she showed me it's possible and that's so important because i've been asked before oh you don't have any kids you're not married it's like and then i think what am i leaving behind or what am i how am I really serving the, serving humanity? How am I really showing up? And it is in the stories. It's what I do every week and the helping and then also teaching, but it's the stories that they re- relate to. So I, I love what you're doing by helping and you have such a beautiful demeanor to you that it's very easy to lean in don't you don't you viewers you're leaning in you want you want more on mary you're like yes so i put it in the chat for everybody to see so that you can take her up and i'm going to take her up on it and see what those are to be able to relate and and get some some and maybe i'll write my my third book because yes yeah and you and you have two books and what are those so the secret artist is my memoir after my second breast cancer experience. I, I had the light bulb moment. It's like, I can't wait any longer to take my writing out of my journals and get it into print. And then at the same time, I was just like, what I, I can do more. I, I have this knack of being able to ask questions that draws the story out where people would say, nobody's asked me anything like that before. And what else I loved is that I've never talked about this before. And that always gave me goosebumps because that meant that we were under the surface. We were going deeper. It wasn't just an automatic response. There was thought behind it. And, and the the written in her own words is the compilation book uh, where uh, women are telling their transformational stories. They're, they're talking about that story that their soul has brought to them, that the wisdom and how it changed the trajectory of their life. And so it's, it's vital that we own these stories and that, that we bring it to the world because there's somebody that needs them. Somebody desperately is looking for the, the wisdom that we have gained from our life experiences. And we, I know we have so many, which ones do we know, which, which ones are coming to the surface that we wanna talk about? And that's why things like the writing prompts helps because it gives you a place to start and who knows where it goes from there. And in the 30 days, I'm hoping that 
you will have an opportunity to establish your own writing practice, you know, get those writing muscles going. Beautiful, beautiful message. I thank you so much for being here on the show today and helping out with humanity and happiness and abundance. So thank any, you. Thank any you so much, Jay John. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Before we go into the shine on show and raise the energy. And and uh, thank everybody who is is listening here, you know, having the audacity to want to tune in and want to know more. Um, you're you're just your energy is magnetic and it just comes across the screen. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And we're going to sing it out and bring everybody's energy up. Yay! Here we go. It's my song. This is how to raise your energy. So, you got ambition, fire, and soul. Look within your heart. Let your spirit flow. Ask for what you want. Show them what you got. Take it to Hi, the top. Beautiful. And you raised your vibration. And as you raise your vibration, and we did that in an energetic music, now what we want to do is we want to kind of hone it in now. And as we start to hone this in and start to relax, take some deep breaths with me. Go ahead and take those deep breaths as we're going to go into the <clears throat> energy of the visualization activation we're going to calibrate so let's take a deep breath right now right here i'm angel marie monticelli i'm so happy that you're here and that you would like to energize and activate and visualize your vibrational field so let's take a deep breath really hone that in a deep diaphragmic breath diaphragmic breath and out. One more time. And out. Start to hone our energy and feeling that vibrational field now. Feeling that in such a way that you start to relax. And as we start to bring in the moon energy and the medicine of the moon and also the medicine of our power animals, specifically the dog today, and bringing in that unconditional compassionate love from. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you right now to close your outer eyes and open that inner eye. And as you start to breathe and as you hear my voice, continue to do the breaths and feel the vibrational feel of your energies and how the breath is starting to nurture with the crystal of the amethyst that we were using. And that amethyst will help with your field of energy to balance. And yes, the moon position on the shining wheel. Breathe into that and bringing in the dog. Very good. Bringing in that medicine as you start to Create this energy field. And as you do with those breaths, it is moving out and breathing out. And it's breathing out any negative forces, anything in you that does not serve any energies, any of the belief systems or ancestral energies. Even the toxins that we get from our food, from our environment. Let's take those. And energetically breathe in as you visualize breathing out with cleansing, clearing air <sighs> that releases and lets go of any and all energies that are not in the highest good of you. Feeling now this grounding 
all around you that you're safe here in your environment, safe, secure, and protected. And in this place of feeling this safe, secure, protected, feel this energy. Now be open to the universe, God, our source of energy, higher self, being open, knowing that we're grounded, safe, secure, protected, bringing in the frequency with grace, ease, and glory. We're going to bring in the vibrational field of that abundance, breathing in the energy to ignite our energy, to calibrate our frequency, to be in that connection, to help us to see, hear, feel, the beauty. And as we are here in this vibrational field, taking another big, deep, diaphragmic breath, we're going to be open to this beautiful, crystalline, gold waters that is moving through you. And it's coming through every cell, every cell nuclear, taking the breaths, listening to my words, feel this vibration as it's coming through. And hear my words as this crystalline, beautiful gold energy of liquid gold energy is coming through every system, every organ, every DNA and RNA to every cell and cell nuclear. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath as it is helping us with our health, helping us to ignite our spirituality, to see and feel differently. To helping with that abundance and energy in our mundane tasks that we do from day to day, every day. Let that bring in that vibration and how it helps us with this beautiful crystalline gold waters, calibrating, reprogramming in all of our relationships to help us perceive differently in those relationships and also in our career, our work, our jobs. However that looks, breathe into this now as it is changing down to the subatomic layer of your vibration. Feel the words. Know that you are powerful. Know that it is your birthright, that it is limitless what you can manifest. And that's where we're open, being open to manifest your desires, your dreams. And in this place, take another breath. As we bring in the finances, as we bring in the relationship with finance, the abundance of finance, and also how we relate to humanity. And in this field of this liquid, beautiful, crystalline, gold waters moving through every cell, every cell nuclear, every system and organ in your body, and cleansing, clearing, and now calibrating and as you feel this igniting within you activating within you feel this going to a higher place in your body that's connecting to yes your health your spirituality those mundane tasks to relationships to the work and job to your finances to money to the abundance of all things to also humanity and as you breathe into this energy field of this vibration feel it feel i deserve the very best echo my words as you keep your breath it will program calibrate your frequency i deserve the very best breathe into that I expect a miracle I expect a miracle. I want to see it, know it, believe it, give thanks for it. Ah, oh, I expect it. Feel this in the abundance and happiness in your joy. Stay. Feel this now as you are safe, secure, protected. And all things with grace, ease, and glory come to you as you're in this beautiful place of the vibration. Feel this energy. Let's take a moment for your breath really hone this in to really align with this higher power to increase and and to center your healing to all the levels in your being 
and feeling this as now we are right now, right here, we are going to anchor it. We're going to seal it to be anchored and seal it and lock it in right now. Take another breath. Beautiful, beautiful. Remember this moment right now in a memory picture. Take it right now and feel this energy. So you can come back to it anytime you want, later this week, any day you want to activate your vibration, activate that happiness, activate that self-confidence, activate and ignite your abundance in your life, your joy, your love, your compassion and peace, your grateful gratitude. Sit with it. Breathe. Beautiful, beautiful. You have it now. You have that memory. You know what it feels like and come back anytime. And so as we start to come back, we come back into the room and we start to move our fingers and move our toes and move around, knowing that this activation. You can come back anytime. And I thank you for being here as we're coming back and opening your outer eyes now. Your inner eye is still open and open that outer eye. And open that up and come back into the room. Thank you so much for wanting, being, and igniting with me today that touches the whole, all of humanity. So thank you so much. I'm Angel Marie Monticelli. And I'll see you next time when we do another meditation. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, my gosh. Wow, how did that feel? Didn't that feel good? And you know what? I would love to give you, as you're coming back, a free gift also. You know, we always do this with our guests from all over the world. They love giving you those free gifts. This is my free gift. Let's chat about energy. Talk, chat about energy healing. All those beautiful things. Let's chat about that in a 30-minute VIP. And you know, I'm here every week with a new guest from around the world, every week to bring you this energy that helps you to move you from one place to the next. And you know what? Next week, we have a wonderful lady. And this next week is the Wellness Code Secrets to Abundant Health and Happiness. And we're going to talk about food energy. So I brought on Ashley to come on and talk to us because she's a personal self, a holistic food educator. And I've known her for years. So she will be joining us next week when we will be talking about food energy and how to step into that energy and that abundance. So it's a beautiful time. And we learned so many writer downers from the beautiful Mary today. So make sure that you share this with everyone you know and reach out to me because I want to help you to go to the next level and help you with those spiritual questions that you have. So I so appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And remember to do what? Change your mindset. Ignite your energy and shine on. Always being in that place of the shine on. Until I get to see you next time. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. I love you.